Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's video. Today, we are reading, reviewing, and ultimately voting on Am I the Asshole Post from Reddit. Yes, we will be deciding as a cohesive unit whether or not these people are in the wrong, whether they are the assholes. And let me tell you, it is not so cut and dry. But with that said, I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. All right. Some important details for this Am I the Asshole. Am I the asshole for telling my wife it's embarrassing she gave our daughter's bus driver cookies? My wife is very shy, but she enjoys giving and is all gung-ho about showing appreciation to workers she assumes aren't appreciated or recognized. She tries to pass these beliefs on to our kids. Because she's too silent to show her appreciation, she does it through gifts, usually baked goods. I've been embarrassed about it in the past. Our oldest rode the school bus for the first time. My wife was waiting at the stop with our daughter and had her hand the bus driver a bag of homemade cookies. Then when she picked her up from the stop in the afternoon, she gave a bag to the afternoon driver. I asked why she did that when she could have easily when she could easily have just said thank you and left it at that. She said the bus drivers work so hard having to comfort all the nervous kids and handling the unbehaved one while driving they deserve more than a thanks. I reminded her that this has embarrassed me in the past and I think her behaviors are too extreme. I wouldn't want gifts from someone I didn't know. She ignored how I felt. I contacted some people in my life to see if I was just a crazy one here and most of my friends and my mom agree. My wife's way of showing thanks just makes everyone uncomfortable. This person makes me uncomfortable. And we have the asshole content we were looking for. Maybe. We got a couple of maybes in here. Can we see the top comment? Oh, we should look at the top comments. You're embarrassed by your wife giving out cookies as a thank you. That's a weird thing to get embarrassed about. Having a thoughtful, considerate, kind wife. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. Even I wouldn't eat a bag of cookies from a stranger. I would appreciate the gesture and realize they had gone out of their way to make me feel good. You're shaming your wife for having found a way to express herself despite her shyness. You're embarrassed by someone showing kindness. Wow. You're not just an asshole. You're a dick. And so is your mom. Wow. All right. Definitely an asshole. Let's hit it. Am I the asshole for wanting to stop contributing to the emergency fund of the cat my boyfriend shares with his ex? While my boyfriend was dating his most recent ex, they ended up living together and got a cat. When they broke up, they decided to share the cat. This person understood the assignment. The cat had loads of medical problems that cost them about $5,000 total to resolve and is still kind of ongoing. When I started dating my boyfriend, I was unaware of the situation and weird as it was, decided to date him anyways. As time went on, I learned more about the situation and became genuinely uncomfortable with it. Here are a few of my 13 reasons. The only reason his ex wanted to keep sharing the cat was to keep him in her life. She was abusive to him and still treated him disrespectfully. So I told my boyfriend that I was not going to tell him what to do, but he needed to make a decision. Me or the cat? I did not make him give up the cat. I simply told him I'm not comfortable being in a relationship with someone who is still involved in a scenario like this. That's a personal boundary that I have set. He chose me and ended up letting his ex keep the cat, kind of. Here are a few weird things. He still refers to the cat as his. He has asked to see the cat on several occasions. We stopped by his ex's house to give the cat a gift on its birthday. Most importantly, we have since moved in together and set up our combined budget to include adding $10 a month to an emergency fund for the cat in case it has more medical bills. While we were reviewing our finances, I suggested something I had been thinking for a while. We should stop contributing $10 a month to the emergency fund from our money. It makes me uncomfortable being involved in this situation in that way. After all, the cat is not mine, but his ex's and apparently his. Instead, he should use the money budget to his personal spending fund to contribute. Why I'm asking him I the asshole, he got very offended by the idea and we got into a bit of an argument about it. Here were some of the main points he made. The situation is hard enough as it is. If I'm not going to let him share the cat, the least I can do is help him pay for the cat's medical bills if something were to happen. It's only $10. It would be unfair because we both know he does not have a lot of money in his personal fund to begin with. Well, I have a lot. I can see why I might be the asshole. I can more or less see his perspective. At the same time, I think this has been an extremely weird situation, and I think my request is fair and reasonable. What do you think? Should someone never say, me or the cat, and continue to pay $10 a month? 
Mm. This is a complex situation. Mm. That's a, a tough one to think about. Keep money separate, to be honest, but yeah, the poor cat. We could get into a whole conversation on whether or not people should keep their money separate. So people voted not the asshole. This is pretty split for, for them too. No, Neville, never give up Zoro. I don't even care who it is. Never give up Zoro. This one was less fun, but still an important question. And most people said not the asshole. I guess it's not even their cat. Damn, this is... Why are they so long? Am I the asshole for telling my stepson's Bumble date that she should focus on her career and children rather than dating men like my stepson? For context, my male 36 stepson, male 19, lives at home with my wife, 41. Last weekend, I found a woman, 20-year-old female, in my living room after I woke up in the morning. She had slept over in my stepson's room and my stepson was still asleep. <laughs> When I first came downstairs, she was crying on the phone. I proceeded to introduce myself and ask if I could help with anything. She said that she was on the phone with her mother who was taking care of her son while she was staying over with my stepson. I proceeded to ask if she knew my stepson through his job and she said that they met online. Bumble. Oh no. We talked a little bit further and due to reasons I will explain, I ultimately told her that she should not be prioritizing dating and should instead focus on her career and spending more time with her son. <sighs> Here's the thing. My stepson has been living with my wife and I since he graduated high school over a year ago. He's handsome, tall, and in shape. Since he graduated, he has brought numerous women over to our house, at least 20, but I have lost count now and I'm not always aware due to working sporadic hours. At first, my wife and I were surprised about how she was meeting them. He was meeting them. He barely has enough time to date, and he uses most of his free time in his room playing video games. When we confronted him about it, he said that he just uses online dating to set up apps or set up dates and either brings them to our house or drives to them. Last year, he had two pregnancy scares, which he handled himself, but my wife and I were aware. Furthermore, a few months ago, I noticed that he kept bringing back two different women to our house in alteration. Although I've always been a monogamous, long-term relationship type of guy, I understand the whole gist of young women sowing their wild oats. My wife and I, my wife doesn't seem to mind, much as long as it's safe and consensual. However, I feel like my stepson may not be complete, may not be being completely transparent with his dates. And I certainly don't believe he is currently a good candidate for young single mothers. Am I in the wrong for interjecting and diverting this young single mother away from her current situation with my stepson. I believe that her son will greatly benefit from her taking a break from dating and spending time with me. With him. Whoops. Uh, no. Oh my god. To clarify, I will admit that I have a protective urge when it comes to si single mothers. My wife had a number of abusive partners in her past. Oh god. I do not believe that the hookup culture ha he's engaging in is healthy for a young single mother with her whole future ahead of her. Oh my God. This man should just stay out of it. This old father should stay out of it. But this is such a crazy situation. This guy wakes up to find this girl crying in his living room, whereas his son who had her over is still asleep in his room. Man, it's all crazy. I mean, it's his house. Go back to your room, Bald. He owns the house, though. It's just a weird situation. But I believe that he should just stay the heck out of it. And also, people can have consensual sex. And, like, let it be just that. Stay away from my son. It's in your own interest. Definitely, asshole. That is where we are landing today. Am I the asshole for refusing to let my wife name her daughter ever winter rain? So my wife... 35 female and I, 36 male, are expecting a daughter. We already have a son who is two years old. Our agreement was that I got to name the first baby and she got to name the second baby. Bad plan, bad agreement. She didn't have any strong opinions or preferences with regards to naming our son, so I went with what I thought was a strong, somewhat unique name, but that could just as easily suit a musician as a lawyer or doctor. God, that's not how it works. I picked the name Calvin Heath. The middle name after my brother who unfortunately passed away and my wife was fine with it. <laughs> my wife told me she wants to name our daughter Ever Winter Rain. 
wherever is the first name, Winter Rain is the middle name. I don't think this is a good name and that it isn't fair to our daughter because ever is a word and I don't think it passes the Supreme Court justice test. It doesn't sound professional. It's just confusing because it's a word and I don't think it would suit her into adulthood. I suggested Winter as the first name with the more normal middle name like Emma. So she has options, but my wife refused. But our agreement was that she got to pick the name. Am I the asshole if I refuse and don't sign the birth certificate if she wants to name her ever? This is incredible. What are your thoughts? They agreed that they get to name them like separately. A dumb agreement, but the agreement they made. Not that. Oh my God, you guys are... This may be our most split one yet. This is the kid's life, right? I'm gonna go with not the asshole here just because your wife sucks at naming things. I'm assuming the agreement was choosing the name within reason. That name is dignifiedly hot trash. That's bold. That is bold from this person. Everyone sucks here. Why in the world did you make such an agreement? Yes, you could have built in a veto clause or made certain minimum requirements. You didn't. Your an asshole for wanting to go back on the agreement now that it doesn't suit you. But who thinks of such a ridiculous name? Does she want the kid to have to explain and spell her name every single time she does anything or meets anyone? That child had to live with that name. My mother named me Shad. I get two reactions. Your name is Shade? Shed? Shit? Or it's Shad like the fish? Life is hard enough without having a stupid fucking name. Imagine the terrible things people will do to her and say about her name. Oofta. Oofta. Who shad the bed? Wild. Not the asshole. Fair enough. But quite split. Quite split. Thank you all for your votes.